Okay. So as always, um, as you can see, uh, making videos is something I want to do on a daily basis, at least once a day. The reason why I make videos is as a target digital is a way to record what's happening to me as it's happening to me in real time and ex and go through my what i'm going through and also um it does help as target visual we are in this program that creates a rea reality that's so falsified for the purpose of covering up the truth in regard of what's happening and it's disturbing um to go through this program and see what people are capable of doing and how low they get to and also it's something that makes me appreciate um, certain things I am very thankful to God that in my life this is not something I participated or partaked in because the way they have to turn into something so degrading to themselves and they don't even understand how degrading it is to themselves until I think it's too late. But it is truly a way of bottom feeder to live like that. It is humiliating. It is degrading to yourself. And there's no, and nothing that can happen to me that can change that humiliation. They say I'm not perfect. But one thing is for sure, I'll never be what they want me to be. And I'll never let them live their fantasy. Target Vigil, we are test subjects, unfortunately, and we are test subjects for these governmental entities that are utilizing this very extremely sophisticated technology to do some of the foulest things to us. And unfortunately, those results are then recorded, and I guess it's utilized as database to improve on this technology that does horrible things onto us. Maybe one day it will be done for beneficial things good things to human beings but in the meantime this is utilized as a weapon so it's going to do harmful things to us as it's done so much harmful things to so many people um and so the terminology what i identify myself as is a target individual a ti and as a ti i am going through what a lot of ti are going through not only i get the gang stalking but at this point i don't even mention that as much because it's not even doesn't do much to me at this point it's just so obsolete in regard of what else is happening to me because once you deal with the synthetic telepathy and the v2k that my friend is big it's another level of course i get the direct energy weaponry which destroy your body but sometimes you can you you forget you forget for those destruction forgetful of this destruction because this V2K and synthetic telepathy, psychological torture takes over in regard of torment that you forget the other issue that's happening to your body. Obviously, you see your physiologically, I don't know if it's a word, but your body, your, 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 phys, your, your physic, your, your, your body, your, your, your anatomy, <laughs> your, your organs, your joints, your, your health just slowly breaks down. And, you know, the things that you could be able to do before are no longer the same. For example, for me, when it comes to my organs, I know that my liver somehow has been impacted. My kidneys, my uh, bladder, my um, pancreas. And I know that because digesting food is something I cannot digest as much as I used to, uh, as, as, as well as I used to. So I limit what I eat. I eat knowing that I got to be careful how much I eat because of what's going to happen if I eat too much. I know my organs are just not reacting well. Um, my, you know, I'm over salivating. There's so much saliva coming out of me. I'm sure that's because the pancreas or some, some kind of organ being hit or tortured. And so much things are happening to me. That is just physically. Psychologically, is what they do the most disturbing things to me because and please remember that this is not unique to me um these tactics are all utilized onto target individual from all gender all age group all races and culture because this is a test subject this is a program where they're developing technology 
and it's applied onto us in the destructive way and tweaked around to improve these destruction tactics. And so this is nothing unique to me. You know, I can never think that this is just happening to me. And I have ways to just think of the people they they've also done that too and they're doing this too. I have a list of people in my fridge that I always look into I look at, I, they have like number them and then I pick a number and I look at, okay. And for me, because this is a program run by the government and the, the Department of Defense is utilizing the technology onto us uh, for the purpose of developing that technology. But this, this is tie up. They, they create this false reality, this bubble, which is meant to push you into think that it's something else but this reality of you are just a test subject and these people around you are contracted by those governmental entities to implement these tactics. But the reality is trying to be covered up. They try to make you believe that this is anything else but this large government doing these things to you. It is nasty because the way they present this, they presenting themselves as, it is so disturbingly fraudulent to the point where it's just like you're just a nasty bottom feeder for even trying to present that narrative, knowing the reality of what you're part of and the damages and the destruction it has done to so many people. And so for me, when I have my list, I look at my list, I specifically pick the name of women who are American, American women. Because the PSYOP, which is what I call, is those perps that are surrounding around you, the around you you interact with, there's been a strong false facade, this facade of trying to present themselves as like we're this fun fatal group of strong women who are avenging and doing this for this person, for that person, you've done this person to this. And they talk about, for example, I brought up names like Brittany Corny, and I'm like, you guys should never speak about this woman because those women would put could be put in this program where you destroy their life, like this woman I'm looking at right now, this list of like fifty five plus of people. And you have done so much damage and destruction to this woman's life that I will never let these people pretend while involved in a program that does these horrible things that you heard. You heard the testimonies of these women and how they've been destroyed. Not only mentally, not only physically, but the whole life, career, and, and just life as a, in general, in every way, has been destroyed. They could never live life any, as a human being. They have become something else, be minimized to be, be some, some, something else. And you have these people involved in that, this program right now, trying to make you believe this fantasy of reality. And so for me, there's been a lot of childlike individuals in part, in, in participating in, you know, as you know, ch children have a way to create imaginations, right? Children are children. And I think in this, in this case, Using children is beneficial. It's easy for a child to delude themselves in an easier way than an adult. But obviously these children are just obviously being told and guided to do what they do, right? And they follow the, 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 the guide, the, the, they follow the, uh, you know, the, 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 the adults in charge of this, right? So they are children that obviously are being told what to say um, and you can hear the way they speak that they are just like basically you know, I don't want to insult them. Well, actually, I do want to insult them. But they're like idiots. They, they're children, right? And they use these ways of interacting with me via v, V2K. So V2K and synthetic therapy is voice to skull. Uh, and voice to skull is this, uh, this technology, right, that's coming from the Department of Defense that has the ability to project voices onto your brain. It's insane. It's, it sounds like somebody's just right next to you talking to you but they're speaking from their apartment or wherever they are. It's not really close to you. The reason why you can hear them is because they're speaking via this technology that you can hear them project into your, your brain. It's a technology that's actually been around for a long time. And they use that to kind of agitate as target individual into insanity. It is disturbing. And th those interactions can be very childlike, meaning that the, the people involved in that sound like they're children sound like people with mentality and consciousness of children 
that go through the repetition, which is something you're going to hear a lot, and you're going to hear consistently that they repeat things over and over and over in order to disorient you, to confuse you, and to make you see something else but the reality of what this is, right? And of course, there's also adults, men and women, and you hear them using this tonality because B2K is the voice to skull where you are being, you are able to hear the projected voices of people around you because they're using this device to do that. And so they try to sound a certain way. Imagine I could speak to you remotely and you don't see me, but you can hear me via this technology. And so when I speak to you, I'm going to start talking in a certain way, in a tonality to create this mystique. This is not a mystique for they just trash working for this governmental entity. Yeah, I've seen them. And so when they interact, to you, interact with you via V2K, you can hear them changing their voices in a way that was going to sound menacing or a certain way that you know they're just manipulating their tone of voices. And it's part of creating this falsification of reality and fantasy and try to sound menacing and sometimes they whisper to some ways they speak it. It's, it's just like very childlike at the same time because you see what they're trying to do and you see that as that. It's like you're just trying to sound this way because you want me to capture this in this mystical way instead of saying what it is. You're participating in this program that even does that horrible things to children. What you do is not, nothing special. They're not any mystique for being, but the technology is extremely sophisticated. So I will never minimize this level, this, this, this technology is just absolutely advanced and sophisticated to a level that is just almost uncomprehendable. You can't even, like the level of the manipulation you experience is just crazy. And everything around you as a target individual is not orchestrated in a certain way. So the level of sophistication is something that is beyond believable. It's just so surreal. But the individual participating in them are not that. Right? Anybody can participate. The, this technology is super advanced that anybody can participate. That's when you know some technology. The, what that's, that's when you know the sophistication of what they're using, they utilize onto you. is to see who can participate in this. So when I see, oh, this person is involved in that? Oh my gosh, this thing is just amazingly sophisticated advanced it's like this is this is how sophisticated not only what you're experiencing is just ridiculously crazy to to be able to manipulate somebody like that but to see who else can be participating in that you're like wow this is like a child I, I, I know this person is not a genius they like even via this voice to school they still sound like children so imagine when we had the sound when they're not on via when you don't when you see them in person. The voice to skull technology, this is this the synthetic telepathy can give this aura that is like very mystical. And when you see who's talking to you, when you see who's doing these things, and you look at how clown like they are, how child like they are, it just you're like wow. It's it's just ridiculous. So for me, the isolation doesn't help. The isolation takes away from reality. And I think that's what they like the target individual to be isolated. That's what they like the target individual to be surrounded by people who are participating in this program. And this is what's happening for me. For me, anybody I'm interacting with are perps at this point. My family members were involved in that and I decided to isolate myself from that because it is nothing more hurtful and impactful than to know your own family member involved in that. They can break you down even more. So here, I just see people that I don't care much about, I don't respect much, and I see them for what they are, truly, easily. I don't have no history with them, I don't care too much about them. So when these people do these things, I'm like, you just, you just, like, to me, you can't do nothing. You can't even influence me, except the SV2K and synthetic telepathy can influence my thoughts in so many ways. So, this is what's happening to me, and it's this, these specific manipulations, which I'm talking about, the V2K and synthetic therapy, officially for me, I noticed that on August 19, 2019, that's when this really noticeable manipulation started for me. Now, the di direct energy weaponry, I don't know if it was happening before August 19, 2019, but 
I know I can feel the result of this destruction of my body now more than ever. And it started from when all this V2K and synthetic therapy was happening because I was feeling some pain here and there. I was feel like, so I know that's when everything really turned on. Before that, I was dealing mostly with gang stalking and weird behaviors from all kind of people. All kind of people. Now I'm just saying, what is going on here? Confused, not understood, no, not understood, no understanding of what was happening. Now, it's just, it got clear to me. Uh, and later on in 2020, I was able to find information about Target Individual, which made a lot of sense. Prior to that, I was writing letters to people, thinking that it was uniquely to me. But apparently, this has been ongoing for years, and there's plenty of information out there and te plenty of testimonies that just kind of show the validation of what's happening. Um, and clear patterns of what they do is exactly what I go through. It's just so, so systematic. It's surreal. Just like this technology is surreal, the way they do things to target individuals are surreally surreal and in, in regard of how similar it is. It is extremely extremely systematic the i mean you can hear in most almost all targeting like when they go through their t testimonies you're going to hear specific things that happen to them that you experience exactly the same way Ext like extreme matter of fact i hope this my camera is able to capture uh, the noise campaign right this terminology is not a terminology i have come up with and never heard of noise campaign before but now i know what they're doing here is noise campaign to try to box in whatever manipulation them having me have in my brain it's all systematic and the people around you are doing that which is something you heard from other target individual that neighbors or people in your surroundings are participating one way or another that there's, there, there's an involvement from people who are around you, which is why you hear this noise campaign. It is extremely surreal that things are done so systematically, meaning that it's so similar in a lot of target individuals' testimonies. So it's just been the same thing for me. And if you go through my videos at this point, you'll see thousands of videos. Um, sorry, a little over a thousand or so, maybe about to be 1300. And as I was speaking, they, they manipulated my thoughts in these disgusting ways. But you gotta be strong and understanding that the reality is this program is sole goal is to improve the ability of manipulating your brain. And your brain is manipulated in disgusting ways, right? You hear the honking, uh, this is kind of timing with the what's happening in my brain. This is how orchestrated things are done. Um, but you gotta be strong because this manipulation of thoughts, you should never identify with them. The whole goal is to break you down, de pattern you, and they want you to identify with these manipulations. It is so disgusting. And you see people stooping to gain to a level that's so low, so humiliating, degrading. You've been validated about the tactics. As a target individual, once you start hearing testimony about what's happening to target individual, you're like, oh, this is what, this is why I'm experiencing this. This is what they're doing this in my brain. This is the thoughts they manipulate this. This is why. And it's just clear that they have these tactics that are very pedophilia centric. Very pedophilia centric. Matter of fact, last night, it was so disgusting. I'm going to be very transparent as much as I can without being too dis detailed because, you know, obviously I don't want things to be graphic. I'm not perfect. I'm not I'm very far from my, uh, from perfection. Um, I have my imperfections and I'm not going to pretend I'm a saint. Uh, with, I, I end up being, you know, I get intimate, I become intimate with women. Those women are, tar are perps. You see how they try to manipulate my, my speech. This is called for speech. Um, they're perps. Those are, you know, women that I meet and I've, I have an idea. Immediately, I was like, oh, they're definitely perps. 
I, I mean, at this point, anybody I meet will be purpose, will participate. Everything around you is orchestrated. And of course, my imperfections are that I do enjoy the company of women. And, uh, you know, as strong as I am sometimes, that company is some company that I want. But this company is definitely a company of somebody involved in a program where they torture all kind of people, including women and children. But, like I said, these people involved in my targeting, just like many other targeting individuals, they create a facade of reality to try to block out the reality of who's running the show. With me, it's been a lot of, like, women presenting themselves as this, like, avenger who are, you know, super politically correct, that, that, that are very progressive, but at the same time involved in a program that is literally co destroying so many lives of women. And not only women, but actually children. And ran by entities where there's been a pattern of disturbing issues, problems. So you are validated that these people at this point have accepted to stoop to a level of no return, working for entities that have very disturbing patterns of issues while involving themselves in a program that has done so much horrible things. But the most disgusting part is also how they're participating in you to be manipulated and conditioned in certain ways. They have been manipulating my brain in these disgusting pedophilia ways of reacting and reaction and perceptions and memories. And it's all mental and psychologically happening, all physically getting reactions. They've been doing this pedophilia type of torture. So every time I look at kids, especially young kids, little kids, little girls especially, I get these nasty stimulations. Matter of fact, as I'm speaking about it, they're trying to find ways to make me believe that this experience should be accepted because they're saying that what they're doing is they're making me think a way I was thinking when I was a child. And they are making my brain become, and I don't know if the right word, but if your brain is the brain equivalent to a brain of a child, th that means that you are, they're pushing you to a retardation state. Right? And they say, no, what we're doing is we are making you experience something that you experienced when you were a kid. And so today, as an adult, the way you're perceiving or reacting or the sensations and all of that, those responses are just responses that you've experienced when you were a kid. Basically telling you that we have manipulated your brain to experience a reaction, perceptions, stimulations, emotions that you would experience when you were a kid. Basically pushing you into a state of retardation. But the reality is they do this pedophilia type of torture. I was with this woman um, last night and one thing you know too is like the manipulation of your dreams. Oh my gosh. They're so nasty but it's part of like conditioning you because they're not just trying to make you experience that just to experience something. They want your brain to be always experiencing this thing. They are training your brain. They are conditioning your brain in these disgusting pedophilia ways of reacting. They're not just like making you feel torturous experiences. They are truly wanting you to have, been, to have this mind experiencing this all the time and conditioning you. They are training your brain this way. They want you to continuously experience these reactions to children. They are conditioning you to experience things in these pedophilia ways. They are really training your brain, which even adds to this disturbingness of what these people are. And then they want you to identify with this manipulation, which is so nasty. So like I keep bringing that up as a, as a metaphor. Imagine if I'm, if I'm putting, I'm, 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 um, I'm, uh, I'm putting drug in your pocket. And then I'm looking at you. It's like, oh my gosh, look, look, look at what's in your pocket. What's, look at what's in your pocket. And you look and you're like, oh my gosh, what's that it's drug? It's like, yeah, yeah, you see? Get him, get him. And try to make you identify with this. It's like, oh my gosh, that's your drugs. Or whatever it is. Implanting something into you and then try to make you feel guilty for what they've implanted for what they've made, made you experience. And then use this noise campaign that you heard to try to intimidate you into accepting these things. It is disturbing. 
And so some of the tactics is how they manipulate your dreams. Like I said, the technology is extremely sophisticated. We are definitely some test subjects because they can make you have all kinds of weird dreams. And you're going to hear this consistency with other target individual. Talk about how their dreams are being manipulated. They're having the disturbing dreams that they don't want in their head. Like, it is everything they do is consistent with what they do to others. And as I was making this video, they are perps who are living around me whose job is to kind of disorient me because I'm putting things in a, in, in a clear way that has been validated. But they do these things I'm saying. So their job is to right now come out of the apartment and start making noise campaign. Disorient me by telling me the things they're going to do to me. That's what they like to do. Um, they are clearly telling me that they're going to frame me in certain fashion, right? I hear some childlike individuals saying that they're going to frame, they're going to lie, saying that they, you know, I raped them, and I hear them like saying, "Whoa, we're 18 years old. Oh, we're under 18. We're 13 years old." Some random thing. It's like it's like they t they have this little bubble of reality they've created that has nothing to do with me, but they're going to use this bubble to frame me. So I'm like, I don't know what, what, what you're going to come. Just don't even waste your energy with me. Maybe it's part of the, how they want to method act, right? To kind of train themselves. Or, okay, I need to be in character. So let me just go with this thing. This frame, that, like I said, it's a frame that has nothing to do with me. But they're going to frame me this way. But they, they, they have this method acting where, like, oh, our children. Oh, she's 13 years old. Before, like, they, they act like, it's like, completely like like it's like characters like okay we're gonna act this way act this way it's a... but it's so nasty um last night they made me have this disturbing dream but i was in bed with somebody a, a, a woman who is a perp um and you know like i said a lot of these perps who are these women are Presenting themselves as like extra progressive, like woman. This is a woman who's older than me by like a few years, and you would think that you know the, the at that point of your life you wouldn't want to kind of live this humiliating life. She's not old. I mean, we're both about the same age, but to be capable to do this thing is just like wow. It's so disgusting, and you know they've been trying to. You, the way they trick themselves to do what they do they start telling themselves or make themselves believe that this they're some kind of fierce individual they're very trash there's nothing fierce about it um i'm not somebody who's aggressive because if i was aggressive things would have happened a long time ago because i know the purpose there's no like i'm not i'm not i don't think they they're like you know like i understand what they are i, I fully see them for what they're part of so I know what you're part of. I know how disgusting you are. So please, do not delude yourself. You're not fierce. I'm just not somebody who's aggressive. You know, it's funny sometimes they like I can see them because they do horrible things to me, and they know the horrible things that happen to my body as I, as we speak. So I will have like dinner with her, and she like I don't know why I just like, try to look at me mean. I'm and I look at her. I see through her bullshit. I said, like, I just see through you. You're just a coward low life. I know what you guys will actually do. So please stop trying to add this fantasy. I see through truly for what you are. You just sold your soul to entities that have very bad issues. Very terrible issues. You see, I bring that up all the time. So last night, I'm in bed. She's there. I sleep. And while I'm sleeping, in the midst of me sleeping, they start making me have this dream. And you know, if you go into my into my mem into my sorry into my uh, videos, and it's funny how they try to t flip things around. You can see the struggling of me speaking. Like I said, it's called forced speech. I made a lot of videos about it. Um, one I just made like not too long ago. In my dreams. They start making me have this experience, but I had a video about memories where there's one specific memory they manipulate. What they like to do, and and I've said that the first time in 2020, in my first video about memories, is they implant sensations 
reactions that I'm currently have today because they manipulate me to have. But implant that in my memories of something. It's to kind of make it seem like they're matching. They're making me experience something I experienced before. So they, what they do is go into my memory, make me have this experience in my memory with stimulation, sensation, and like, oh, no, I see we mapped it. You had that. You see? That's how this disturbing it is so they've done that to so much of my so many of my memories that's why if you search any of my videos in my channel with memories you'll see how maybe at this point 100 or so um videos about this is not the memory they manipulate this is but the first time i made a video about it was in 2020 three years ago and today it continuously being applied so i can go back to my to, to my videos and be like hey this is what they make that this is not the memory they manipulated um, but in this dream, they had this guy where in, in one of the falsified memory they had me experience is when I saw this and I was like maybe my teenage, me to late teenagers, um, showing the pictures of his family and he had this point like two little girls and he was saying, you see, uh, uh, and you know he's just showing the family because I haven't seen him and my whole family haven't seen him for a while and they are making me experience in my memory having this reaction and stimulations when I saw the picture of these kids and they like to do that especially when the p memories are just not like the strongest because that's not something I'm going to be remembering about this moment I just remember talking to him and what was happening so they go like oh yeah no no so you know when you saw that picture you felt that stimulation yeah we mapped it and they do that all the time all the time now they don't even go as far as those old pictures old videos or all memories sorry but even like memories that just happened in 2018 they changed them like this they're bringing up something that when i was like outside of, of my soon-to-be apartment there was kids and then they make me experience all oh, in that in that memory and they've been working on it in that memory you experience this like that and it's a falsified giving me this sensation that's sexual toward this memory because there's a baby there's a, there's a little girl so they do that all the time and I've been making videos as it happens because what happens is I'll never experience the real memory. It completely fades out. And I now experience the falsified version of my memories. So I'm in this dream. And I'm, 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 I'm sleeping and I have this dream. And this man comes, back, comes in my dream that they manipulate. They can modulate dreams. This is how sophisticated it is. And you're going to hear that consistently. From other target video like this is not like this is so systematic it's scary so i'm having this like dream and the man comes and immediately they give me this nasty sensation they make me experience when they are falsifying this memory and i wake up from it and immediately this woman start to try to have sexual relations with me and the reason why is because they have this ability to morph feels, things together. They can make you feel a sensation right now and then implement that, mem that feeling into a memory or into a thought or merge things together. So she wanted me to get up just about like having me this nasty falsified memories and then make me have like sexual relation with this woman. So they can merge this manipulation of my memory like that. It's so disgusting. It's so disgusting. Um, and it's just what I deal with. And it's so nasty. I had to, like, I, I stopped her, of course. I was like, no, no, I know what you're trying to do. I know you're trying to make me identify with this false memory. And you want to add to it by making me have sexual relations with this woman. So they can implant that into that memory even more, stronger. I was like, nope. I'm not going to have any sex after having this disturbing dream where you have this memory and have added sensation to that false memory nope because i know what you mean it's part of how they try to manipulate you so i'm stopping her i'm like nope and i'm trying to find a way to stop her in a smooth way but she's still trying and now we're talking about very early in the morning four three in the morning try to have sex with me i'm like nope i know what you're trying to do like if it was in other cases i would be i'll go with it you know i'm not perfect the reason why the only reason why i'm stopping her is because i know what they're trying to do they're trying to merge things together I'm not going to let that happen. Nope. And, you know, they can play my libido. They can turn off my... I said, nope. Regardless, I'm not going to have any sexual interaction with her. 
until maybe in the morning. But not this evening, not, not right now, because I know what she's trying. And she was really trying her best. She was trying to grab my private area all the time. I was like, nope, 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 nope. Stopping her. It's so nasty. And they do these things so many times. Like when I have intercourses with women, they try to implant children in my brain. And like I, there's certain things I don't even can do because immediately they try to all create this manipulation to make me think that this is something that has happened with a child. So I'm like, oh, no, no, stop. So many. I don't even feel comfortable anymore. It's just like, it's a, there's so much bother in my brain when I have like, in, like intimacy with women because they bring children in my brain. There's a whole song. I was with some woman. There's a song that changes this to make me think of this other thing, which I, I don't want to bring this right now in this video because I want to keep this video kind of focused because I realize that when I make videos, I'm... I'm being disoriented back and forth. So let me just focus. Maybe I'll have this video specifically for that. But this whole song, I stopped. This is a song I've been listening for years and years and years. And one of my favorite slow R&B songs. Now they've connected with the manipulations of some memories and how they've... That I can't even listen to this song without being forced to think in this disturbing ways. And think about this child. And then think about this... They have ruined a song that I've listened to so many times. It's continuously this nastiness. It's continuously manipulation of memories and trying to make these people, these people try to make me subscribe to this nastiness. But thankfully, I've been validated by that they manipulate memories. But on top of that, as it's happening, right? When it comes to those manipulation, I notice it gets worse with time, right? The first time they try, you can see, feel the battle, blah, 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 blah. Then the second time it's just it's, it's just getting hard to remember you and then now like, phew, I, I can't even remember how it's like my re my real reaction and I, I just remember that it's i know it's falsified i know i didn't get the stimulation but i can't experience what i experienced in real time i'm only experiencing this nasty sensation the stimulations but i have a video i made multiple like actually i have multiple videos the last one was in september talking about this manipulation of my memories and i was describing like, yo, it's getting further and further. I, I can't remember. It's getting worse and worse, but I still get a little bit. So, um, I'm thankful that I had a chance to speak about it before, before it's too late. So, even if I can't experience my real memories, I can go back and like, this is almost magical. This is almost like, like me being a prophet. But I'm not a prophet. I'm just saying what's happening to me and recognizing what's happening. And not being deluded by the fantasies of what they created. So for this woman to want to have sex right after this disturbing dream is because she understood that there's a tactic to manipulate memories. They can make you, if it helps when, let's just say, in the moments when they have this experience, you have, you have like some sexual experience. Because then they can box in this moment and implant that into that false memory. And so I was like, no, it's not going to happen. I know what you try to do. I will not have sex until this is gone. I'm trying to... And so I waited till the morning. I was like, I'm not going to... No, I know what's going to happen. She kept trying to make this happen. Non-stop. Trying to find ways. I was like, oh my gosh, she's not even stopping. She really wants to continue. Like, I know what's happening here. And immediately when I recognized what they're trying to do, I hear them interacting with me via B2K. And they tell me how they're going to frame me. They're going to do this and that. Because they don't want this humiliation of reality. That they are forcing me in so many ways to have this nasty reaction toward children. To the point that even women are willing to have sex with me. So they can make, they can box in this reaction, this feeling when I have sex with them. And move that around this sensation into when I think about children. Have this feeling go there. It is disgusting. And they're like, no, we dare to do that. No, you didn't dare. You're nasty bottom fears, cowards. This is cowardly. It's foul. And it's weak. This trash are just bottom fears. And in your life, you have to build this to make a man or person have reactions that are sexual toward children. You live life doing that. Listen, whatever struggle I'm going to go through, whatever death I'm going to go through, this is not going to take away from what these bottom fears have involved themselves in. Forget about even hating me. 
right? If you hate me, it's one thing. Let's just say I hate somebody. Do you think that I can me involving myself in ways to make somebody think about children in sexual way would not make me look at myself in this disturbing way? Now I'm gonna do things that's gonna make me hate me. It's one thing to kill, torture. No, but I'm torturing that person by making that person think about kids in a sexual way. And I'm training his brain like that. What does it make me look like? Is it not me who look like a pedophile if I do that? But these people are disgusting. They twist themselves into a, this fantasy and try to create this false reality. And right, well, when she left, they were trying to find any ways to counter this reality because it was so obvious that this person was trying to continuously box in these ways of thinking about children by having sex with her. That reaction when I climax will be, or feelings while I'm having sex with her, will be moved into that you know, a false memory or when I see a child, they're going to force me to get a reaction. That's what they do. They are erasing who I am. And I'll never be myself. I have a memory of just completely phased out. It's not even too long ago. It's 2018. No, sorry, not 2019. So they they <coughs> they completely like erased and they slowly erased more and more and more and they work on it. The first time I remember, no more. I was like the first time they tried to manipulate me. I was like, I, I know it's 2000. I didn't feel that. I was like very confident. It's like I remember didn't feel like I, I still have like an idea of how I experience things then they still again more and more and more and now I can't I have no idea my real reactions anymore but I recorded what as it was happening and today that's like that that is what they do all the time all the time all the time it's been consistently manipulating my memories now today these individuals are even willing to have sex with me, like I said, just for the purpose of rewiring my brain into a pedophilia way. They're willing to have sex with me for the sole purpose that my brain can be changed to start thinking about kids in a sexual way. That's how disturbing it is. Now, I'm not perfect. Uh, my imperfections is truly the love of women. And so, and I do like the company of women. But they are using that to rewire my brain. As I'm saying, they do some nasty things. And they make themselves sound like, oh my gosh, it's so like a war. This, it seems like these this individuals participating enjoy themselves so much. Like from what they get out of me, but also for involving themselves in an intimate way with me. So it's not like, oh, they're doing like, no, they enjoy even more than me. They find more pleasure than even me. So it's not like uh, uh, they're, doing, they're not doing it for the cause. They enjoy this. It makes them feel good. They actually get the climax. They, they are, and, like, the enjoyment is really like another level. I've been somebody like who ex experienced some, one of the most amazing climax. I can see it like, oh my gosh. I almost got nervous. Like, oh my gosh, is she okay? So it's not like they're doing it in a sacrificial way. It's like, oh my gosh, I'm going to sacrifice my body for it. No, they loved it. They love this feeling. I can see climb, people climaxing in ways that I, I, I don't even understand. So it's not like they're experiencing a, a, bad, it's a bad experience for them. They love this in very many ways. They, they enjoy the feeling they get from the intimacy, but they also enjoy the feeling of like feeling special. Like there's some part of the cloud doing this. Like, no, I know what you're about. I know what you're doing. Look at you, this, are you suffering, are you sacrificing, you, what? You're having the best climax you ever had in your life. So please, you know, in every way, you just, just, the only thing that you did is just degrading to yourself. You live life like that, regardless of what you're able to do, regardless of you're not struggling in life. I'm sorry that this is the most degrading thing you can do to yourself. This is the most degrading things you can do. And they, they do these disgusting things. And like, oh, we mapped it. That's when you know how disgusting they are. I, I, it's not the first person doing that. There are multiple. I was with another woman much older than me. And 
they were making me imagine some disgusting thing about the daughter of my, my best friend. This is a little girl. And she wanted to have sex with me so much. I had to stop her. I was like, I'm not going to have sex with her. Because they were trying to. So I was like doing everything possible to not have, have sex with her. It's the nasty thing they do. Because she wanted to rewire my brain in these ways. So you got to be strong. Yeah, you have to be strong. Um... But you are, I gotta see things for what they are. These people are bottom feeders and they sold the soul to these entities that have empowered them to do so much to you. This technology is extremely sophisticated. I, I, I think obviously there's in financial incentives for sure. We talk about the DOD. And so you know that the financial incentives are definitely gonna be there. But not even just the financial aspect of it. The ability to do, to do these things is so empowering. They of course have to love these things. Some of them don't have any control in their life. They don't know what's gonna happen. They have no idea what's going to happen to them. But they see me slowly breaking down and the ability to give me pain and, and feeling and then create these characters they put together. Make themselves believe something. You know, they're supposed to create this mystique. I'm like, I know what's running, who's running this program. And it became so bad that they can, they, they have the ability with this technology to make you think in ways that just makes no sense. They put on other people's personality onto you or make you believe that like for example after this moment and me stopping this person from trying to have sex with me because i know that she wants to enjoy like she wants me to to be rewired that's the only reason i would go i would have sex with her if, it, if i didn't think it was that if, she, if i woke up it was no nasty dream i would have sex with her the reason why i didn't want to have sex with her is because i know that she was trying to rewire me this way so as i'm stopped interrupting that they start making me think of some kid that I, when I was in high school, there was this girl who tried to kill herself. And they would try to make me think, you see, she tried to kill herself because something happened to her when she was a kid and never that and that, that. And then trying to make me think of, this one thing they like to do. What I did when I was a kid, I was in middle school. I was a child in middle school, 13, 14 years old. I did something to myself, which they tried to exaggerate. And as I'm saying that, they try to make noise, keep them bad, bad, you know, and the, 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 the things that you, they do to children is things that you can't even understand. They torture children sexually. But they want to forget this fact and talk about me as a child and try to exaggerate that. So when I was a kid, I did something to myself. I'm talking about middle school, 13, 14, early stage of my ch teenager. Do something stupid. I mean, eighth grade. Um, I like to, like, present not even present, that's the word they make me, they, they like to, to manipulate my words in ways that they, I guess they can vilify me with later on. But I like to show what it means when I'm in that age. I'm talking about somebody within this. When I was around this age, I did something to myself. And they have been trying to exaggerate, right? They've been trying to say, no, you molested her, you raped her, some, some exaggeration. And so they got to the point where they're like, no, you know, what you did as a kid, destroy this person, she tried to kill herself, she was suicidal, and they tried to come up with some stories to the point where today, I, in my late 30s, I talked to this person, sent her a message. Of course, I know she has no idea who I am, and she has no recollection of me as a whole. I didn't even have a recollection of what I did as a kid, and I was an older kid. And so they tried to make me think, oh, she, you damaged her, she's suicidal, and this, and that's like, you're just... They want to come up with this fantasy. They even made her make me believe that she was a lesbian. Now, they make me think of this student that was my classmate who had depression issue, who ended up trying to kill herself. And said that, you see, that's what happened because somebody saw, did something to her. Like, and tried to make me feel guilty as if I'm the one who did something to her. I said, what? They don't even, the reality is formulated differently. I don't know what happened to her. If something happened to her when she was a child, I don't know. But it has nothing to do with me. But they want you to start thinking in these ways. It's like you delusional trash. You are literally taking somebody else's life that has nothing to do with me and whatever happened to her to try to make me believe this falsified reality. This is why I'm talking to somebody who has no idea who I am. Because I don't want these people to be deluded. 
But the reality is, what they try to de escape from, and that's why you hear this noise campaign, is because they are damaging children. There's plenty of testimony, I don't have to play them again, of what they've done to children of all age. Three-year-old, sexually tortured. Four-year-old, sexually tortured. Five-year-old, sexually tortured. Seven-year-old, sexually tortured. Three-week-old, made sick. Like they have damaged and, uh, children physically and psychologically. This is not me imp implanting somebody's personality. No. The program they're involved in, these people, the things they do to me, being involved in this program, this program that they're involved in is truly, today, destroying and de doing horrible things to even infants. That's the reality. The reason why they're doing these thing, things to me, the, re the reason why these perps are right now doing these things to me is because they're in the program that is experimenting, not, not even experimenting, they use human subjects as, as test subjects, using the Department of Defense technology onto, onto us. And they do that to children. Matter of fact, right now it's funny, they're doing this thing, which I think they want me to think about it, is they're doing this testicle pinching of some sort, where they're making me feel pain in the growing area, which is they've done that to a three-year-old in this program. The reason why they're able to do that to me it's because they've done that too. It's, be, it's because they're in a program that's done that to children. So you understand how they twist and project reality? Having to come up with falsified reality. They're the same people who are literally forcing you to have these dreams. And then a woman w w wants you to have sex with her so they can box in this sexual um, interaction with this woman. And so they can move that Every time you see your children, and they're like, no, you pay for what you did as a child. What? They're so nasty. And then they tell me how they're going to frame me, but frame, but tell me that I'm going to do some, uh, the, I'm, uh, the, the, that they're going to have their children coerced to say that I did something to them sexually. These people are just a fellow human beings, but obviously the reality is they're doing this because I'm a target individual. I'm a human subject. I'm a test subject. And the government running this program happen to have a lot of problems with pedophilia. I bring that up all the time. To find out that the DOD is ranked, was, was ranked in 2018 as 19th out of 2,900 in regard to sharing child pornography using the DOD network shows the, a pattern of pedophilia that's ongoing these entities while these people are here forcing men and women to think about children in this disgusting way, this is now unique to me. And they use these childlike people to agitate you, to try to counter reality. Now, it's not going to stop what's going to happen to me. Me speaking, it's not going to stop any of that. But it's not going to, their life is not going to get any better by doing these things to us. The day will come where they do these things to us, be reimbursed. It's already humiliating to do that right now in real time. Right now, right now in real time, they are diminishing themselves, they're degrading themselves. For me, they wanted me to let them live their fantasy. They wanted me to believe that there's some fierce femme fatale when in reality they're a bunch of low life trash working for pedophiles that even torture children sexually. And they manipulate men and women in these sexual disgusting ways. Where at this point for me, they're like, no, what we're doing, we're making your brain react the way you react to when you're a child when you're in, in, in eighth grade. And today, because this is still too retarded, they manipulate my memories as, as, as not too long ago as 2019. And me just talking about in 2020 how they're changing, like literally making me appear like I'm a freaking prophet because I'm saying these things two years ago and they're every, consistently changing that. And then to interrupt the reality that they're in, what do they do? They, to, to change the reality, to manipulate the reality, to disorient reality, they just randomly start saying things via V2K. You're going to be chewed up, or you're going you're gonna to lose, lose your teeth, you're going to be raped, you're going to be blessed, and blessing means rape. They, you're going to be cut in pieces, then you're going to be six feet under, the, all these things, because the reality of, of what they try to escape from is what I said. And you hear the noise campaign every time they force me to experience a false memory.
It's all a way to brainwash you into accepting this falsified reality. And so, target individual, that's why I say we are dignified. Yes, you are no longer you. Yes, you will never experience the memory you, the way you experienced it. You hear the noise campaign, you hear all these orchestrated things around you to try to disorient you. You will never be truly in p at peace. Their job is to really push you into insanity. But there's dignity. Because everybody do doing these things know the reality of what's happening. They're changing you. They can make me think of the falsified memories, but I was like, okay, it's a falsified memory that I can no longer experience as me. And they start to sound in these menacing ways. You're going to starve. You're going to discover the stuff to death. Then live my life today doing what you do. And the humiliation of reality, you, have, you turn into a, a retard for the purpose of trying to make me accept this pedophilia type of tormenting while you're working for entities where pedophilia is such an issue. This has been a ranking that shows there's a top tier level of child porn being shared within this, the DOD network. And they try to do everything possible to disorient me. And like, no, abuse. Try to talk about me in middle school while they're abusing children as young as three week old using defense technology. Some of it is like sexual abuse. Hurting kids in a sexual ways using defense technology as young as three years old. So to all my target individual, stay strong. See those low life of the bottom feeders that sold this soul to pedophiles that are capable of doing the whole the worst things to even a baby. And try to make you forget that. <laughs>